in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, the scripture says, the apostle Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and then to the Greek. And so we're looking and we are asserting from this verse in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, that the gospel, which is Jesus, can meet every basic need of your life. And so the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at the fact that Jesus can meet our need for life after death. Now, a lot of times we, when we hear that phrase, life after death, we're thinking, well, we're going to die physically someday, and then he's going to raise us from the dead, and then we'll be with him forever in heaven. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. But then there's another side to it, too. And the side that we're going to look at for a moment today is, does his power have any implications and applications for our lives now before we go to be with him? Well, let's look at that. And so in John chapter number 11, you remember the scene. He has been called by Martha and Mary to help Lazarus, who's been sick, but now they have discover uh, when he gets there that he's dead. In fact, he's been dead already for four days. So picking it up in verse number 39, Jesus goes to the tomb and he says this, roll away the stone. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he's been dead for, for four days. The smell will be terrible. So her focus was not on Jesus. Her focus was on Lazarus. Now, I'm not saying that wouldn't be normal, but here is the one, the only one that can do anything about the situation. And so often in our lives, I think what we do is we take our eyes and put them on the problem instead of the problem solver. So Jesus has rolled away the stone. And sometimes I think we need to see that Jesus in different ways looks at us and says, roll away the stone. Now, what's behind the stone? Death. All of us have a propensity to, to erect fronts, fronts that give the appearance to other people that, man, we got it all going. Everything's great. For example, a front of success, a front of respectability, a front of, you know, I am, I'm, everything's going great in my Christian life, a front that I am a a success as a mom, as a dad, as a husband, as a wife, as a business person. And so these fronts basically aren't the reality of who we really are at times. So Jesus comes and he says, roll away the stone. But there's nothing behind a tombstone but death. It may be an expensive tombstone. It may be a beautiful tombstone, but when it gets down to it, it's a marker over a grave, and underneath it is a dead body. So, you can be living and existing on the outside, but on the inside, you can have death. And so, here's my challenge today. If you've been willing to roll away the stone in your life, roll away the fronts, and look honestly inside to, to see where you need him to touch you and give you life, now, let me give you a couple of thoughts there. It's difficult. It can be humiliating. But Jesus firmly says to you and me today, look, look, don't be afraid. Roll away the stone. I already know what's there. And I can do something about what's there and turn death into life in every area of your life. So let's take Jesus's admonition today seriously. And I'll say it to myself, and I'll say it to you. Roll away the stone. You think about that.